Finally, we're seeing some bullish momentum here for Bitcoin, but will that continue or are we gonna get rejected and make some lower lows? What's gonna happen to Bitcoin? Let's check it out today. But guys, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more crypto news. And don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Let's go. Right now, we can see the Bitcoin is at $57,258. We were making lower lows than this. If you check out actually the chart here, we can see that Bitcoin did reach all the way here to 52,000. So 52,000 just a couple of days ago, I think, like two days ago. Yeah, the sixth right now, yeah, a couple of days ago. We did make a nice increase here from this low to this high. It's a 7% increase, but we did get rejected on the 58,000 level. Now, what could happen to the future of Bitcoin. A lot of people are bearish. And when I say a lot of people, I really do mean a lot of people because if you check out the fear and greed index for Bitcoin, uh, we can see that we are 33%, uh, 33 points actually, and people are basically scared. We're not in extreme fear levels, but people are afraid right now. And it's pretty warranted. Because if again we check out the chart here, we can see that we have been in this downtrend for a really long time. So ever since March, basically, we've been in this massive downtrend and people just scared that basically we're going to break down and go hit some lower lows, Like it, which is pretty, like I said, warranted. There's a couple of things we need to talk about. So first, this month is not going to be good for crypto. Actually, September is the worst month for crypto and the month started really bad even for even for stocks so it's really 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 bad it's a bloodbath right now everything is massively going down like i said even bitcoin has massively gone down because we were at a high of 65k and now and basically reaching 53k pretty pretty big yes pretty significant decrease 17 percent in just 12 days is a lot for bitcoin but slowly i think we're going to make that reversal because we have a couple of indicators that we can see they're going to show us that bitcoin is still pretty much in the bull run first things first we are still following that same bitcoin cycle so everything that's been happening before to bitcoin is still happening now everything the pattern is still forming we're still in that pattern which is awesome so we can read this it says here in, in the 20, 2015 to 2017 cycle bitcoin peaked 518 days after the halving so from 2019 to 2021 cycle bitcoin peaked 546 days after the halving if history repeats and the next bull market peak occurs 518 to 546 days after halving, that would mean the Bitcoin could peak in the cycle in this cycle in mid-September or mid-October. It's not gonna happen September, but probably October. So 2025. Uh, currently, Bitcoin is accelerating in this cycle by approximately 84 days, significantly lower than the initial 260 days set in March, in mid-March 2024. So there you go. So the longer Bitcoin consolidates after halving, the better it will be for resynchronizing uh, this current cycle with the traditional halving cycle. So basically, the more it stabilizes, the more it consolidates, the better for the future of Bitcoin. Basically, that means that we're still in this pattern. The pattern always shows what's going to happen. The pattern shows that we are still going to continue to go down. The pattern shows that we are still going to continue to go up. The problem is it could get rejected. I don't believe for a couple of reasons that, that we are going to get rejected and that, that this graph here, that the pattern is going to get rejected massively because if we do get rejected here for crypto, what does that mean for the future of crypto in general? The problem then is if this is the highest high we can get in this bull cycle, so 73,000, that means that Bitcoin is pretty much over because if we break the pattern and this is the highest high we can have, that's just, if we check out the previous high to where we are right now, it's only a 
increase that would mean that the next cycle again bitcoin could probably reach maybe like 80k or not 80k 90 to 100k and that's just not really good for crypto because who would invest into bitcoin if it's if it doesn't have the potential to continue to go up at least by 2x or 50x or something like that at least by 2x or like at least by 2x so that's the biggest problem if we can't make new highs like higher highs here for bitcoin it's gonna be really really bad for crypto and then i don't think the bitcoin or crypto would be able to function now why i don't believe that that's gonna happen it's because people want crypto like the government wants crypto they're going to make their own cbdc so that means they need crypto no they need regulated crypto that's a big difference and they want their own CBDC to be worth a lot more than Bitcoin. I don't believe that's going to happen. I still believe that Bitcoin is going to be the top crypto for a pretty long time. For a really, really long time. And we're going to read some, some higher highs. Uh, another interesting fact about this cycle is that every single time we do have a cycle, uh, the increase of the cycle gets lower. Even this guy really simply just simply said it. Uh, 2012, uh, we got here 9,500 percent gains. Uh, 2016, we got almost 3,000 percent gains. Uh, 2020, we got 711 percent gains here. So this guy calculated. I'm not sure about the calculations. I didn't calculate myself, but approximately for the 2024 cycle, we're gonna have a 142 percent increase. So still, even a hundred, a 142 percent increase is going to be a 140k maybe even more for bitcoin so that's awesome that's still pretty awesome to like reach over 140k for bitcoin in this cycle that's double where we were before we're doubling bitcoin so that's pretty good still pretty good it's not like 300k i know that but it's still pretty much good of course it's gonna get it's gonna be harder for bitcoin to increase that much because of its market cap the market cap is pretty huge so doubling this market cap is pretty difficult tripling it is pretty difficult because we need a lot of money now some bearish news actually not bearish if it's it all depends on how you look at it we got here uh we got blackrock selling bitcoin and they sold 159 bitcoin so, uh, I think ever since January, they were buying Bitcoin and now they just sold Bitcoin. I think that's still not bearish. Um, this is my logic right now. So, stocks, uh, everything, the S&P, everything is pretty much going down. Like, everything is going down. Like, massive IT companies are losing their value. So BlackRock needs more funds. So, of course, selling Bitcoin is a way for them to get some funds, which is okay. The thing is, BlackRock, also, you have to think about it. If you're BlackRock, if you do know you own a lot of Bitcoin, if you sell your Bitcoin, that's probably going to be in the news. So that means that people are going to sell more of their Bitcoin. So if people sell more of their Bitcoin, that means that BlackRock can get crypto or Bitcoin at a lower price. That's the whole point. So you have to think like investor. You have to think like somebody who has a lot of power in in the game. So that's the whole point. Pretty pretty. So you gotta you think of, you have to think of the, about the psychology because they know that they have influence. They know that if they sell, things are going to go down because oh BlackRock, they're selling. That means something bad's gonna happen. Now they're selling because they want you to sell so they can buy for lower. That's <laughs> that's pretty much the the lodge behind behind all of this. Now, if we do zoom in a little bit here, there is a chance here that Bitcoin could get rejected right now and that we could go a little bit lower. And that pretty much is possible. I'm not gonna lie, we could be seeing some lower lows. We did re like we already did go once here to 50k here for Bitcoin. That is still pretty much possible. Uh, I think that we're still going to see a bit of a pump right now. But still, September, like I said, generally, generally is a really bad month for crypto. So, we're probably not going to be in the plus side by the end of the, this month. Unless something major happens. Unless something big happens in the crypto space. 
not too many big moves are going to happen here to Bitcoin. I mean, to the upside or the downside as of yet. I believe that, like I said, October is going to be a good, really good month for crypto. Plus, you have to think about something else. If people sell their stocks, you got to understand that they have to. They got money now. So that money doesn't disappear. Somebody took that money. And they have to invest that money into something again. <laughs> so that means they could invest into crypto. They can invest into the stocks again. But that money has to go somewhere. That's it. So people now have... And nobody wants to have cash. Nobody wants to have cash right now. Because cash, it, cash isn't king right now. Cash is king. When we're accumulating money. Like this is... Do you know like when cash came, where, where we're in a downtrend, like, like a massive downtrend, like this here, this whole area here is cash is king because lock up cash, get more cash, get more cash, get more cash, buy the dips. So get cash, buy the dips, get cash, buy the dips, and then boom, 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 increase your wealth. That's it, and that happens all the time. So that's super cool to see. But yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.